Hi everyone, it's Emily here. I am going to show you how to do a lobster today. Love lobsters, love crabs. I think they're really cool to sort of draw. Um, and they're really fun to sort of play with near the beach as well, aren't they? I wanted to show you something. Happy New Year, by the way, if you're watching this and it's January 2020. Um, I want to show you this. I did a lobster about a year ago now. Um, and I've turned it into greeting cards. So... If you ever want to buy a greeting card, it's um, on my website, so it's Emmy Lou. It's Aurora Shine online, but yeah, maybe message me or email me. It's e at emmylouart.com, um, and I'll give you the details. But we're going to start with the lobster. I've put a little bit of music on in the background. If you can hear it, I'm not sure. And we're going to start with, just grab a pencil. Hmm... Just need <laughs> haven't got a pencil grab a pencil I'm gonna use a pen just so you can see what I'm doing and we want to start off with pencil piece of paper you want to do a shape that's a little bit like it's gonna start here and it's like it's like an what's it like like a, a bit a jelly bean it's like a jelly bean and it's got to be a bit smaller there. If it's not smaller there, it does not matter. It doesn't matter at all. So then we're going to do a line. And then another line. This is just going to help us when we start to colour in. Then what we want to do is two little eyes, two little bobbly eyes. So we're going to do a round circle there. And we can do another little circle there. It can be kind of like a flat circle if that helps you. And then what you want to do is, it's quite tricky, just get your pencil, hopefully you can see. I'm just thinking it's quite far away. I'm just going to move it over. That might help you a bit, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to touch there. And you're just going to go... So you're doing that shape. And then you're just going to go like this. Da 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 it's like if you know you if you eat prawns, some people can't stand them, but if you eat prawns, you can see the little bobbly bit of the mouth. And then what you want to do is there's kind of three bits to a pincer of the of the lobster. So you're just gonna touch this bit here and you're gonna go and then you're gonna touch this little bit there and go. So they're like little bobbly bits. Little bobbly bits. And then and you're gonna go, it's a big bobbly bit now. It's like, it's like, it's like rectangles. I don't know why, but everything reminds me of foods. It's quite like sweets. They look like sweets in some way. Then, do this quite lightly because you're gonna rub out. So you wanna go, touch that there and go, whoa. This is massive. This is like, it's pincer. Then, touch this bit there and go so don't worry if it's massive we're going to make it into a claw so once you've done that we're going to do i might put it up here just so we can we can see it <laughs> right what i want to do is you're going to decide half of it so let's like look there just look there and you're going to go up just up a little bit and and then you want to do the other side. So find out the middle. It doesn't matter if you don't get exactly the middle. And you're just going to go... Now this then becomes the claws. So you want a gap. So what you're going to do is this. You're going to go ching, 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 ching. We're going to keep it very simple because you don't want to make it too complicated. That is a clawy bit. So you can go round that one if you like. This one is going to be the same. I'm kind of a bit confused now. <laughs> You're going to go... Choo, 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 choo. And then you get a bit smaller and you do that. So this bit, if this is really confusing, just try your best. It doesn't matter because what you want is you're going to rub out, but I can't rub out because it's ink. But you're going to rub out this line and this line. So it's kind of like you're left with these pincer things. And here, you're going to go chicky, chicky, chicky. I think I said chicky. <laughs> Chicken. Mm. Okay. Then 
what you want is you want to make it look like he's got he's got a lot more little legs so you want to do this rainbow double rainbow and then you want to go mini rainbow double rainbow so it's really simple we're gonna have more but you could just keep it like that then you're gonna do these little prawny like tentacles they're like Rrr. you got two that's a bit chunkier so say like two that are these chunky bits and then you've got some weird bits that come out let's say maybe three so you got that then here I always like if I'm doing a guideline I always like to go over it so it makes it more I'll show you what I mean but it makes it more like it's not just one shape so I'll do this so every separate shape, I'll go over it, because it looks cooler. Then, what you want to do is, you want the long little legs, <laughs> let's move this across. You want the legs, you want those little tentacle legs. They remind me of chips, strangely. So you want rectangle, you want rectangle, rectangle. So just like for now, do three rectangles. And then they just become kind of little leggies. They're actually quite long legs. <laughs> if you can't do that, just think long bits with lines if, if that helps you. But they're just other legs. So you're going to have more really. But do you know what? We'll keep it simple. Simple is the best. And then we're going to do another shape that goes like that. It's just going to go off the page. Oh, there's going to be more actually there. Let's just do that much because I want him to be in the grass really. So just a little bit more, just there and there. And then we're going to do this. One, two, three. So you don't have to draw the rest of it, just draw there. It will be good to do another leg. So maybe if we did because they've got quite a lot of legs. Yeah. If you can't draw all those legs, do not worry, it's fine. Let's put another rainbow on the top. So we're gonna go one, two. Could do another one, but we'll just leave it. Okay, so there's there's roughly, ooh, just thinking. Okay, we're not gonna, obviously that's quite detailed, but we're not gonna do it that detailed, there's no need. So we're gonna go around the bits that we want and he's in the grass, he's like lurking in the grass. Oh man. So I like to draw grass like that. Oh man, you could do seaweed, couldn't you? You could do wobbly seaweed. Just, just do something that you like doing. Doesn't have to be like mine. Could be like a really cool seaweedy thing. Okay, so that's what I've got. Right, okay. I'm gonna get my beloved chalks. I think I think I might do one um, a video next week and I might do um I might do kind of like a mindful one where we do a, a different material. So you really what you want is an orange. Kind of got a fluorescent orange, which is fine. Orange, red, yellow. I've got these. So I've got an orange, a red. It looks like a pink. I've got an orange, red, yellow. Okay, what you want is you're going to kind of do, I'm going to try and do this in an adult way, but not too scary. So you're going to, this is chalk pastel. So if you're doing watercolour pencil, same thing, you just put the water over it. And if you're doing normal coloured pencil, you can still do it. Just might be a bit trickier. So you want to do a big chunky bit of red. <coughs> then, big chunky bit of red there. We want to make things look rounded. And to make it look rounded, you tend to outline things. So we're just going to outline it quite neatly. That's all we're outlining. Doing chunky bit there, chunky bit there. This is going to be light, this is going to be light, as in it's going to be thinner. So you've done your pincery things, I just want to show you what it's going to look like. You want the orange, so we're going to do 
little bit of orange there, a little bit of orange there, a little bit of orange there. It might be the seaside and summertime, which can't be bad. Bit of orange there. So just take your time. Now, tiny bit of yellow, but not much. So maybe a little bit there. It looks like orange, my yellow. Then one little finger. You're gonna sm blend, it's called. But you don't wanna blend everything. You wanna leave a bit of it white in the middle. Can you see, just there? Okay. Hopefully, hopefully the music's helping you rather than annoying you. I might try different musics each time. So we're going round. When you leave a bit of white, it always looks really cool. It looks like it's um, 3D. It's real. Okay, there's your pincery things. Right, red again. You're gonna go chunky monkey. Chunky monkey. Chunky monkey. So it's all here. Oh, you could literally do that. Right, there's your chunky monkeyness. You're better off outlining it, but doing it thinner and leaving the chunky bits for how I said. So round, 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 round. This is quite a tricky thing, by the way, in case you're thinking, whoa, just try it. I'm going round everything now. If they're skinny, the legs, and it's hard to go round it, just, just actually draw them, like draw them in. Just la la la, like that's fine. Don't need to do that really. Let's do it. Okay, okay, orange, right, so we want to do this, bit of orange there, bit of orange there, bit of orange there, just experiment, it's actually really fun to just do it how you think it might look, this is a bit of an adult way of doing it, if I'm honest, but give it a go, just give it a go, because it's quite fun to try, okay, one little finger, getting a bit messy now. You're gonna, when you blend, you do it carefully. You don't just go la 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 la, do you know what I mean? You kind of, oh, I'm changing fingers. <laughs> I'm kind of going, and I'm keeping white, a little bit of white in the middle because it makes it look 3D. So you can do that with every bit. Legs, I'm just gonna draw with my finger. Just da da da, da da da, da da da, da da da. <coughs> okay, here, gonna smudge. Okay, what will make it look really cool is black. So if you've got a black, which clearly I don't have a black, which is quite annoying. I've got a brown, which isn't too bad, but you want a black really. So I'm gonna do the black eyes. And then shadow. Black eyes, shadows kind of underneath an animal. Not just an animal. Just doing it quickly, but I don't want you to rush it too much. You might have to stop this and just copy because I'm doing it a bit fast. But I'm doing the black or the brown, whatever you can, whatever you can find really. Okay. Oh, he looks quite nice, quite friendly. Okay, yeah, maybe a bit there. Okay, one little finger. Now pause the video if it's just way too much. Pause the video and we're just gonna draw around it to soften it. Hopefully this isn't too tr tricky for you. It'll let me know if it is. I think it's quite good to challenge yourself, you know? If you find something difficult, just make it, like practice it if you can. So there's your lobster looking kind of cool. He's gonna be kind of almost turned around, but we're gonna do reeds in the way. So I'm gonna get two different greens. I like getting a light and a dark green. I'm not gonna wash your hands at this point, but I'm gonna do half of the seaweed half of the seaweed dark and half of it light and you can be quite messy with this it's fine and then get a light green just 
make it up as well. You can literally get the pesto and do that without drawing it. Oh, I love a bit of green. It's awesome. Okay. Right. Smudge. Just be super careful because my finger's really dirty now. You might not need to smudge it, but it kind of looks cool. Okay. Once you've smudged it, if you wanted to, because he's in the water, you could literally do um, blue. But some people I just think quite like having the white. So it's up to you. You could have a bit of blue there. Just around it if you want. Like just around him to make it look like he's somewhere. I like to show a bit of water but not everywhere. There's no way to wipe my hands now. <laughs> it's getting quite messy now. So there's my lobster. You want to spray it with hairspray if you've got any, just to fix it. Um, I want to get a dark blue and you can give him a bit of bobbles. There we go, it's quite cool isn't it? Because he's making some bobbles. Okay, there we go everyone. So there's my lobster in the water. Um, you can all, always do more to it. You can put some white bobbles in the eyes, you can put some white there. So you can play around with it and do whatever you like. You could have some sand there. So yeah, that is my lobster. I'm gonna bring it closer now. <laughs> There's my lobster, enjoy doing it. It's gonna be a bit tricky, but yeah, try it. And I think you'll probably really enjoy doing the lobster. It's a nice little thing to do. And um, like and subscribe, and yeah, let me know what you what you draw, and send me keep sending me in those emails with your pictures because it's so lovely to see what you've created. Okay, lots of love. See you soon. Bye.